In today's video, I will show you the best approach to creating AI websites. I have for you seven proven ways to make your AI website even better. Recently, here at WebWave, we introduced our latest AI features, and now it's time to show you how to squeeze a lemon properly. Let's get into it. The right prompt is the underlying of your AI's website success. To prove it to you, I will generate two websites for a candle business, each from a different prompt. Prompt number one is broad. I just want a website for a candle business. The second prompt is specific. I write a business name and offer and specify what colors I want my website to have. The first website is fine, but it's about candles. About candles in general. All types of candles. With the second, detailed prompt, AI managed to generate a website tailored to my needs. The business name Melt is all over the copy, the color palette matches the description. AI basically incorporated my branding into the design. And when we look at the offer, there are listed all the things from the prompt. Soy candles, workshops and online courses. If you have such details figured out, it's good to include them in the prompt. Unless you don't have a specific vision for your project, then opt for a general prompt and count on AI's creativity. Changing the fonts and styling of your text is one of the easiest ways to enhance your AI website. Maybe your brand has a specific font or you want to go for a different look. I got you covered. The most effective way to do this is to go to the website tab in the settings panel and then text styles. Here, pick the type of the text you want to change. Now you can choose a different font. Choose from the ones in the WebWaves library or add your own. And that's what I'm going to do today. You can upload it from your computer or download one from Google Fonts. To do so, just go to their website, pick the one you like the most, copy the link and paste it into WebWaves. And now you have your custom font on your AI website. And because you set it as a text style for an entire website, every headline is automatically adjusted. Global Colors is a similar feature to textiles, but for, you guessed it, colors. This AI website has four global colors and let's say you want to change them a bit. Just click the one you want and have fun. Maybe you want a different shade of red or change your mind about the red and actually want to go for something blue. Or maybe you got inspired by the images that AI picked for you and want to color pick the shade of the leaf. Nothing can stop you. Global Colors allow you to make all those changes in just a few clicks. It's effective and effortless. As you remember, AI included our business name and a specific offer in the copy. But sometimes you still want to change something. You can rewrite headlines and paragraphs by yourself, as I did here, or use AI Writer. Mark the text you want to work on and click the AI icon. You can rewrite the text, for example, tell the AI writer to make the paragraph shorter or generate something completely new. The original paragraph was mainly about Mel's products and I wanted it to be about the company and the people behind it. So I just write the prompt and hit generate. Now I have an about section highlighting Mel's backstory and values, done in no time. As you can see, our AI website is divided into sections. Sections make it easier to manage your content on your website, basically to keep it in order. If you want to add more content, add it as a new section. I came up with this idea that I will add a candle of the month part of the website, and here's how I do it. First, decide where it should be, then click on the section above, and then click the plus icon. Now, your new section is here. Change its name and set margin values. Margins kind of enforce some additional space between the content of each section. It's necessary if you want your website to be user-friendly. So I added my section and all the necessary elements for showcasing the candle of the month. However, I want to create a bullet list of all the characteristics of the winning candle. I can add icons separately and try to align them with the text, but there are better ways to do it. Let's say a table. Add a text element and click the table icon. Set the number of rows and columns and accept. Here's our table. In the first column, there will be the arrow icons and in the second one, the one-liners about this candle. 
can copy and paste all the text quickly. When you're done, just add some cell spacing and delete the borders. Your invisible table slash bullet list is ready and looks fabulous. Binding elements after sections is one more easy way to keep the content on your website organized. By binding elements, you connect them with each other and maintain even spacing between them. But that's not all. Let's say that I want to add a subheading here. When I paste it now without binding the elements, they overlap. Let's time travel and bind elements before writing more text. Now the relationship between the elements stays untouched, even when some of them expand. Don't underestimate this. And that's it. Remember, with WebWave you can not only generate a website, but fully customize it. And if you follow our tips, you can expect truly outstanding results. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this feature and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!